so now I will uh, <coughs> get to the the real point of the video, showing you uh, splitting uh, polygon. Already 40 minutes. I'm really slow. <laughs> this really really slow. Splitting a polygon. What we want, we will start f uh, first. Um, a little uh, warning: uh, splitting. Uh, I will only show splitting basic shapes. Basic shapes, and by that I mean mainly convex polygons. P convex polygons are polygons that um, here you have a convex polygon. I think I can draw lines. Yeah, I can draw lines with that. Convex cleaner polygon. A polygon becomes non-convex, and by that we mean concave, when one of its angles gets over the flat angle, the 180 uh, degree angle. When it gets past this angle, you get a concave polygon, which can look like that. Here you have a non-convex polygon. Because this angle is greater than 180 uh, degree. Here it's lower, it's lower, it's lower, it's lower, but it's bigger. Uh, and we are talking about the inside angle of the of the polygon. And why it's not so? Why we won't show uh, for this type of polygons is because. Here, when you split a convex polygon by any lines, any lines which are not directly on the segments, if you split by any lines, you will have only two parts, no more, no less. But for a concave polygon, you can have three parts, and maybe more if uh, the more complex it gets. And so it gets uh really really uh, a pain to uh, code and uh, at this point I uh, <laughs> I really don't know what games you want to make here we are s we are talking about splitting shape games uh, basically oh no uh, basically again I will count them one, one day okay so first basic shape so we'll uh, create a polygon here. The polygon we will create will have a certain number of sides. Side, side number, side count. Let's start with four sides. Then we run a loop. Just to make that a little bit uh, easier, we just need to do a uh, We'll uh, place place them um, kind of in a cir circle. So we run a loop around uh, 360 divided by side count, and we'll just create the vertices this way. Um, add vertex. Uh, it's, uh, one day I will probably make. A a video on this uh, kind of expression. When you are used to them, you can uh, really um, write them uh, super often, super easily because it's uh, always uh, the the same. You always using the same. It's because if you are interested and you can't wait to uh, <laughs> to learn about it, it's um, uh, you have uh, the what's called the Cartesian uh, way of uh, placing uh, position in a 2D coordinate and the polar polar like uh, like the beer polar way of placing uh, points the Cartesian ways and I will really just say that just uh, is the XY uh, way of uh, of placing point the Cartesian and the polar way is base. Oh no, not again. Basically, 
you have an origin, you set an angle and a distance, and you have a point. The polar wave uh, is uh, angles, uh, often uh, <laughs> drawn like that, and a distance, uh, I think it's R. And here it's X and Y. Alright, so these kind of way of, pla of placing points are uh, the polar waves which is, are super uh, cool to use when you are handling something that's uh, around the circle. Let's, I will uh, multiply by the radius. You always have the cos, cos sine for the x and the sine for the y. I just say that and draw this polygon. Polygon, draw polygon, and uh, we'll fill with red uh, line width. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Mm, that's not working. And I look like a fool now. Why it's not working? That's okay. That's because I have to multiply this one with. Uh, yeah, I did a mistake here. It's here. I just want five, uh, five, four vertices, so it should repeat four times. That's when you are talking while coding that you make these kinds of mistakes. But well, that's alright. That's alright. As long as I can debug them fast enough. Okay, we have a square which starts from. Uh, the first vertex is at loop index 0, 0 is at cos 0, sinus 0, which means here. Basically, it's at, it's at angle 0. It goes like that first, uh, first, so index 0, index 1, index 2, index 3. This way, I can, uh, be, I can um, draw uh, any uh, basic shape I want just by ch changing the, the side count. And the tri triangle here, and even I think a line can work. Line, okay, we don't need that, but it's working. If you do one, some point, nothing show up. That's okay. Uh, note that there's not even a, a crash or bug, but be careful if they. Uh, Sometimes you might end up uh, drawing uh, polygons that have no uh, no points. So uh, be careful and use this uh, action wisely. Log vertex list is always good to have under your sleeve. Anyway.